Hey folks, it's Mark with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I, I couldn't stand it. I've been seeing these Yetis and I just had to get one. And I was at the checkout stand buying some ammo and I saw one, I just grabbed it and I put it in my, put it in my cart. And when I went to the checkout, I, I had sticker shock. And this is $39.95 for this tumbler at the local Sportsman's Warehouse. I was also looking for uh, ammo the other day and I walked by a display at the Walmart. I saw this Ozark Trail for $9.97 and I thought, hey, that looks just like my coffee cup that I paid 40 bucks for. So today, for you, I went and I bought another $40 Yeti and I bought a $10 Ozark Trail from Walmart and we're going to do some scientific comparison to see if this $10 Ozark Trail from Walmart is as good as this Yeti, so stick around. Well, I've examined these really closely, trying to find a significant difference from the outside. And frankly, besides the logos, I can't find a lot. You know, if we look at the lids, we take the lid off of this Ozark Trail, we can put it right on the Yeti fits perfectly snug. The Yeti one fits right on the Ozark Trail. Their drink holes on both lids are exactly the same shape and location. The vent hole is in the same location. I see the same mold line in the same location. I would almost swear that these came off of the same machine with a different embossing logo. So they're really, really, really similar. Now, one thing I did notice is we're going to take this paperwork out. Those are uh, didn't come with any paperwork, but this Yeti it came with a bunch of advertising brochures and stuff. We're going to put that over here, and then we're going to weigh these. Now, I've got my lids crossed up. I'm going to put them back to where they are, and we're going to look at a little comparison of weight, because that's the only thing that I saw externally that was, that was any kind of major uh, difference. So the Yeti comes in at 16.1 ounces empty, and the uh, Ozark Trail comes in at 16.8. So we got 16.1 versus 16.8. The Ozark Trail is actually heavier. So it apparently has a thicker steel or denser steel or has other stuff in it, but it weighs slightly more. So let's look at the other, uh, the other things. They both say they're double wall insulated. They are both BPA free in the lids. Uh, Sweat-free design, made out of stainless steel, durable, rust-proof. One thing I am disappointed with, they both say don't put them in the dishwasher. Well, that's where we wash our dishes and our coffee cups. So that's, uh, that's kind of disappointing to me. The lids are dishwasher safe. Uh, the good thing is they're big enough that even a, even a guy with big hands could get down in there and, and wash these out by hand if he needed to. Uh, that's about... That's about the only thing that I can see this different is the weight. They're very, very similar. I know what you're thinking because I was thinking the same thing. Well, for crying out loud, that Walmart crap's probably made in China. Well, you'd be right. This Walmart cup is made in China. And I thought, well, maybe for $40, I, could, I would feel better knowing that some fine American Union craftsmen built this Yeti cup. So I turned it over and looked at it. Ah, you look at the bottom, it's made in China too. So uh, there's no difference on whether you're making American jobs or not on the $30 difference between these two cups. So what's going to determine which one is better is its actual insulation ability. And we're going to test that scientifically. We could do that with ice and, uh, and water, but it would be really hard to get the exact same ratio of ice to water into each one of them. So we're going to do a hot to cold test and we're going to put hot water in there and watch how slowly or quickly these shed heat from their contents to the outside because that would also be work the same reverse. So we have the same amount of liquid in there at the exact same temperature and then we're going to set up a time lapse and watch. All right, so we have checked our thermometers beforehand and verified that they both read the same in the same water. We took that same pot of water, we filled this one, we filled that one with 154 degree water. They're starting to lose temperature as we speak at an uneven rate. We're gonna see what happens in the end. 
Now we filled both of them up to the brim and we're not using the lids because we are testing the insulation quality of the cup itself, not the lids. And I wanted a, I wanted a fixed volume, a known volume between the two. So we're going to let the time lapse go. We've got a little clock and the batteries will probably die on the camera, but we'll see. Folks, it's been a couple of hours. Let's check in and see how these cups are doing. We have the Yeti here, and it is at 91 degrees. We have the Ozark Trail, and it is at 93 degrees. Basically, they are the same. The performance between these two cups, as far as insulation quality, which is the touted thing to have, is equal between these two cups. This one costs $40, this one costs under $10. I don't know about you, but for my money, the Ozark Trail from Walmart is the clear winner. They're both made in China, they're both imported. I don't see any significant difference besides panache in a logo. So. And the fact that we're never going to get a Yeti uh, sponsorship because we made this video. The Sozar Trail works just as well as the $40 cup. And frankly, $10 is pretty expensive for a coffee cup. $40 is ridiculous. What the hell are you thinking, $40 for a coffee cup? Quit that. Buy something good. Granted, you use a coffee cup every day and it's nice to have a nice one, but... Not when a $40 cup works exactly the same as a $10 cup. Hey, I hope that this little experiment was insightful, enlightening, entertaining. And if it was, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button and uh, give us a like or a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next review. Thanks for watching.